Hello, my fellow adventurers. This is Maluncha, and welcome back to New World. Today, we wanted to continue with our main quest, but if we look actually on the map, it says Marauder support, so the next quest. The only faction left to convince, speak to a Marauder leader in Cutlass Keys after you reach level 35. So, I do presume if I would want to take this quest, I can can't even so what are we gonna do today well uh we are gonna fill in our uh well our level because yeah we're uh, 33 almost 34 so it's a level and like 5 15 percent maybe or 10 percent maybe we're gonna fill them in with a side quest that we have here at uh where are we brightwood so uh yeah before we gonna start we have two quests in here so i'm gonna start with a quest in the settlement and then later on we can pick up the quests on the outside as well but we do want to go to the settlement first because it's time for some new tools and the good thing about uh yeah being able to farm so much off camera while not uh while not recording and having a backlog is that yeah i got all my uh professions kind of pretty high i find pretty high stone cutting still need to work at but uh, yesterday evening I kind of focused on engineering and why engineering because we want to go to the next tier of our gather tools and that is the star metal so a star metal skinning knife you can see here refined wood but it can also implement any other kind of wood uh, as you can see here the potential gear score on top is now 400 to 405 if I would implement timber it's 380 to 405 if I would implement lumber 385 to 485 so yeah you can use the different resources but because i don't have multiple animal horns uh i cannot actually get it to the highest tier so i'm gonna use a lumber for this one uh, and then uh yeah the star metal i barely got enough i think it's like 64 that we totally need or 40 46 that we yeah 46 that we need in total uh there's also add special resources again uh so silver uh, durability, azot extraction, gathering, accelerates, uh, tanner, disciple, skinning, luck, and skinning, yielding that you can uh, implement, but I don't have any of these. And then you can add azoth to actually, uh, well, azoth decreases chances for attributes, perks, and gem slots. So, kind of want to do that actually, but I think I'm going to take the perk one and two, perk one, two, and three. So, yeah, let's except and let's see yes the chance is very high so if you implant zero the chance is really low so it's actually something you kind of want to do with everything that you kind of craft so uh we're gonna craft a one of each and let's see what we actually get oh look at that skinning yield 15 percent more resources 51 percent more durability and 40 percent chance to finish gathering a note to gain one azot really nice let's continue to craft and let's craft up the next one the mining pick so again we're going for lumber nothing to add and we're gonna add some azot to it except see what we craft out of this one so durability azot extraction and luck 6.2 percent chance of finding rare items really good but i'm kind of wondering it says that oh you see this ah, i wasn't paying attention again guys level 40 before you can actually before you can actually equip them well we're gonna craft them up we're gonna put them in our bag and once we reach level 40 we can basically put them out of the vault right uh but it's always good to kind of look together at what you can do so let's do this do we have anything nope not out of this let's craft one ah, crap level 40 should have known so 50 percent more resources durability and six percent more locking experience pretty good i rather had the uh find rarer items that's always pretty good and then uh what's left uh the sickle now we go for this one got no special resources let's add the azot let's craft yield luck and extraction so really really nice but yeah sadly we need to be level 40 holy crap you need to be level 40 so yeah i'm gonna have to put them away for now but yeah it's already good that we actually had crafted them up um and uh yeah it's a good test as well uh so gathering speed 
you can see right now it's 140 percent increase in gathering speed for this one it's 110 for this one or 120 110 for this one and 130 almost for this one so yeah they're definitely a better upgrade so uh, yeah that's uh crafting tools that i cannot use yet uh so let's continue with what we actually wanted to do and that's pick up the side quests here in the village and see where the story leads us in here into brightwood doran don't know what you've heard about brightwood stranger but it may well be true we've been dug here in the battling this we've been dug in here battling the solas lost for centuries why has it lasted so long that's a history lesson for you <laughs> it's happening again guys it's happening again 300 years ago all eternum was facing a plague of soullessness the lost rising in unprecedented numbers and the worst of it here in brightwoods of course it was i would i was but at last then so do you remember it no i didn't arrive until later the inquisitor were all gone by then <laughs> this is just ridiculous so i became a justicar justicar instead but i'm also committed as the inquisitor where to ending the lost for um, but i'm also committed as the inquisitor where to ending the lost for once and all maybe you want to help i'm a luncha and yes i'll help perfect first thing we need to do is the tools the inquisitor had at their disposal inquisitor lucia was the bane of the solus until she lost her own destroy her and reclaim her tools she wanted it this way so yeah level 26 so they start uh, the zone is uh, 25 to 35 i think if i remember correctly so the quests will should all be between uh, 25 and uh, 35 so uh, yeah definitely a good way to increase the level if you actually need it and uh, 1600 xp 89 gold always nice let's accept this quest let's go to the next one we have here in the village well okay only two quests right yeah so. see who's in the town hall tunston pennyfada you are welcome here ah come on do they all are gonna have this bug so Brightwood may not be as bright as it once was, but it's still a bastion of light. The territory curse curse cannot penetrate the settlement walls. Brightwood is cursed? It has been for 300 years, if not longer. The plague of the soullessness on Ethernum is stronger here. The lost are far greater threat here than any corruption. They dominate these lands. Can't anything be done? Perhaps Herbalist Lao came here. Within the last decade. <laughs> and she believed the land itself may be cured. If you can gather her soil samples from some of the northern towns, she can test her theory. It would be most appreciated. So yeah, to level 26, really nice. Let's accept. And let's go see where we need to be on the map. So, Inquisit Legacy, Curse of Brightwood. And then Curse of Brightwood. So, we need to be at two locations for the Curse of Brightwood and one at the Inquisitor's Legacy. So, that's where we first are going to go. And it's actually not that far off. Okay. What do we need to do here? Let's kill him first. I can actually read. Collect soil samples from Sleepy Sarmons. And collect decaying bindings from the lost at the Cathedral of Vasquez. Eat lost gravedigger here. He isn't not a hundred percent drop rate. And destroy Inquisitor Lucia is also one of the objectives for the Inquisitor's legacy. And he's gonna take a little longer. Let's get some healing up. Let's dodge that. 
make sure get some ice in here as well switch back yo they respawned in my back Dodge. nice come on Get that. It's done. Whoa! And he's spawned in my back as well. Okay, let's get some more ice in here. It's Lucia. I think it was Lucia. He's annoying. Every time he does that, really annoying. There we go. Holy crap. Alright, decaying bindings. We got some more. Lucia didn't really drop anything, but there's gonna be chests in here. And a quest objective here as well. The tools at the cathedral. So these are probably gonna be the tools. Yeah, the tool chests. A box on the left here. Is there stools? That's one. And I need to collect one more decaying binding. More or anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. And we're gonna need to defeat one of these. There we go. Alright, now we need to go to br collect soil samples from Sleepy Sarments. And that's uh, 200 meters away. He was coming straight for me. Gather six soil samples and defeat two grave diggers. And it said nothing about defeating a dog. Hey, you might be wondering why I'm using heavy attacks, because in the last few episodes I've mostly been using uh, the uh, light attacks. It's basically because I got another uh, weapon point into my life staff. That is the intensify, so heavy attacks you give. Uh, heavy attacks give you increased healing by 10% for 10 seconds, max 30 stacks. So, yeah, three heavy attacks is actually 30% increase in healing, which is a lot. Just really a lot. And we already see one of the objectives over there. We need to find three of these. Six, six of these. And actually... Dodged way too late there. Thought I heard another one. <laughs> so this is one soil sample, and then we need to feed two grave diggers. They're the annoying ones that turn around and actually I don't know really know what they do, but they like bombard you with I don't know coffin smell. <laughs> It's an impaler. That's not a grave digger. But he was guarding a chest, and we always want to open all the chests. Where or oh, where are? That's yeah, one. There he is. Of course, we're gonna pull half the city. And he's, yeah, I don't know, draining life, I think? What is it actually doing? Yeah, it's it's actually draining life. I never really looked at what it was doing. Here we go. Bent coffin nails. We need one more. Well, let's do it like this. There we go. Got it. Let's head back to the city and talk to Lao Kang and Doran Farrell. Oh, hi there. Hi. Do all these NPCs have the, have the same problem? Are you the one Head Cleric sent out to, to collect soil samples from the northern township? Ah, perfect. Thank you. I'm Herbalist Lao. And you are? Well, I'm Maluncha. Yes. Hmm. Let's see. 
you found these bone fragments in the ground there? Not entirely surprising around this old territory, but these other items, I wonder. Yo, level 34. I trust you've heard at least some of the history of Brightwood? I only know a little myself, but it seems clear the territory is haunted in more ways than one. What does haunted mean to Eternum? Mean on Eternum? Uh, same as it does everywhere else. Something from the past becomes a plague to the present. The Inquisitions from 300 years ago, we still don't know what happens. No one knows how it ended. Head cleric Pennyfather only remembers that the Inquisitors ultimately became lost themselves. I have an idea though. Search the lost in the other township for burial tokens. That might, that might char Pennyfather's memories. So yeah, let's accept this quest. Nice. And uh, let's talk to Doran Farewell. Doran. Look at this. The legendary Inquisitor Lucia is down and you've recovered the tools of her trade. These implements will help us in our campaign, Maluncha. You've done well. Let's complete. Get a it's follow. true that the Inquisition in Brightwood ultimately failed, but they knew how to fight the lost. The more of their relics we can gather, the more we can bring to the fight. Are there more relics out there? Several, in fact. Head Cleric Pennyfather has been hesitant to go in search of them, but we know they're there. You saw the old cathedral, yes? The Inquisition? Those were the glory years of Brightwood, to be sure. So you want to restore the Inquisitions? Not in name, but in effectiveness. Sacred Jonas skipped the Inquisition's relics. Search outside the church in Brackwater to recover Jonas' book and the amulets worn by his anointed followers. Godspeed, Maluncha. Except... It started was kind of funny, now it kind of becomes a little annoying, I should say. Like, in a previous episode, I kind of... Kind of said that, like... It was a kind of a sort of uh, immersion into the game because all the people had their, their own voice lines and, and they're all kind of mannerisms while they were talking. Uh, but if that falls away, the immersion kind of falls away a little bit more itself. So, uh, yeah, what do we need to do? Lost in return, collect burial tokens at Bellonord's Manor and restoring the light, seek the Secretist book in Bellonord's Manor. So we're going to need to go to the same location and that is... He dropped at least one thing. Uh, let's assist him. What did he drop? Crack of water. Aerial tutorial. That's one. Now we need to look for chests. It's gonna be pretty easy because we already have one here. And then one outside as we can see. Go. Write a book. What can we create? One more chest. Let's beat this one up. Go. Let's go inside. Inside are always chests. Should at least be two. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Get these two supplies. And restoring the light should be done. No, confront the sacredest followers and a drum ghoul. And collect burial tokens at Marshall's Hamlets. So 600 meters away and 170 meters away. Yeah, it's kind of logical that we're gonna go do this one first. Sacredest followers in Umku. Seems we need to defeat five of them. Okay. 
Let's do it like this since we pulled rather a lot. And I do this. Thank you. Get some healing up. And he's gonna drain my life again. Get rid of this wolfie. Get some increased healing. Right, that's one. Two. So I'm gonna have to beat three more people here. Should be done rather fast. Go. Two more. Can we find two more peeps? Wolf. Yeah, we already pulled him. Let's get this annoyed. It's go. Didn't drop anything. Oh, swing and a miss. Go. He did drop it, and last one. We pulled another one. Oh, he's gonna explode. Blam! <laughs> and loot baggy. There we go. So now we only have burial tokens at Marshall's Hamlets. And where the hell is Marshall's Hamlet? It's rather a walk away. Ebon Soul. Are these guys Ebon Soul? Yeah, they're Ebon Soul. And I'm swinging and I'm missing. And die and give me your loot. No loot. Damn it. Could do as well. Yeah, he gave me what I wanted. Look at that. Right rest a burial token. Are you? Oh no. Got another one over there. Pull him. And he dropped it. And then we need to go to the Bright Rest Cemetery, which is 300 meters that way. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of running around the map. Uh, collecting burial tokens. Okay, that's what the quest says we need to do. We got another boulder. But I still need to work on my stonemason, I think it was. So yeah, I've been collecting resources here and there along the way. Like I usually do. I've also been working uh, a little bit on my UI. As you can see right now in the bottom, I no longer have my two weapons out. I only have one weapon out. In fact, actually put my weapon away, it actually vanishes as well, leaving a more... Well, if you run around, you don't really need to have a lot of visuals on, on your uh, bar. I guess you could call it. This uh, gives it more clean look. I'm definitely, definitely happy with this. Okay, let's uh, go to the cemetery and we're already here. Okay, so we need to feed a specific one. It's probably the dude in the back there. The big one that we can see. Can you die for me, please? Yes. Don't want to deal with the grave. The grave robber, or what is the name called? Grave digger? Cool. And Gora the Unburied. Deal with this one. Do it like this. Yo, 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 no, no, no. He's doing a lot more damage than I anticipated. So let's make sure. Then we get our increased healing from our heavy attacks. And that way we can actually basically kind of keep up with the damage he's doing. And he's puking all over me. Yo, I'm a one shot. No, no. Heal up. No, keep me in the heal. Keep me in heal. Ooh. 
No, you don't. And I think it's gonna be in the chest. Didn't drop it. No, it's gonna be in here. Get through the pick sticker. This was him, right? Why didn't he drop it? 34 meters? Oh, it wasn't the big dude, it was this one. Why did I throw my heel all the way over here? Uh, this one is a lot easier to beat. Yeah, and our, we're doing a lot more damage now already as well. There we go. Uh -huh. The secret books and those Azoth's infused amulets. I must study Joanna's writing, but I believe with these we'll be capable of battling the lost like we haven't in three centuries. 106 gold, really nice. Armor cash, level 31, really nice. There we go. Dorn has no follow-up. Let's talk to the next one. Dunstall Penny Father. It's good to see you again. Let's see, I'm forgetting your name at the moment. But what's this? Burial tokens? From all those places. Oh no. What's the significance of this? I was young during the Inquisition, so I only had rumors. The Inquisitors buried the lost, or anyone they thought was a danger of becoming a lost. An unthinkable fate to be stuck, buried, still conscious. Oh, they buried him alive? Holy crap. And yeah, let's complete this quest. I had hoped Do that if he's going to give a follow-up. But we are going to leave that one for the forgot. next episode, guys. We still have... Well, more than half of a level to do. So yeah, we're going to continue with these side quests till we reach to level 35 and can con continue with our main quest. But for now, let's sit our ass down like we always do. If you want to see more of my quest progression or my let's play here in New World, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.